So here we are in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We're wearing the Ministry of Supply aviator suit, the Apollo dress shirt. We got some uh, dress socks on from Ministry of Supply. They were kind enough to send it to us. The co-founder of the company based in Massachusetts set the world half marathon record in a suit last month of 124, making it the world's fastest suit. So here we are today. We're gonna find out what makes it the fastest. Let's go for a run. Nothing's getting in our way today. So to set a world record in a suit, you have to wear the full piece, dress shirt underneath, socks, but fortunately, you have the pleasure of running with running shoes. So today we're running in the Nike Structure 19s, which will save a couple seconds off our time. We're about a kilometer into our run right now. It feels good so far. The amount of strange looks I'm getting right now is very funny. I don't think they typically see someone running in a suit. So right off the bat, one of the best features about this suit is breathability, moisture wicking, especially the polo dress shirt underneath. Keeps the heat close to the body. Good for those Canadian winters. Doing well so far, 4K in. So after 5K, tie still looks good. Cuff's still pretty good. Hair could use some work. Pants looking good, shoes looking good. We're ready to go still. So we've running, been running for about 30 minutes now throughout downtown Toronto. No runners yet though, which is kind of disappointing. Not the greatest run environment in downtown in the morning, but Still, would have liked to see a few runners. Face is a bit cold, ears are a bit cold, but rest of the body very good. Wouldn't mind wearing this on a typical work day. Crochane, we can run with him. So we're nearing the end of our run now. Still feeling pretty good, not sweating too much. So here we are at the end of our run. You might ask why exactly you were running around Toronto in a Ministry of Supply suit. Well, the answer really is quite simple. We wanted to test three things, whether it's moisture wicking, breathable, and whether it's stretchable and kind of can withstand the everyday conditions of the work life. And there's not a test too much tougher than going for a run in it. So um, I think it definitely passed with flying colors. Hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.